really just wrap the weekend up for us? Uh, hot, <laughs> frustrating, uh, not good. But um, yeah, we we didn't think we'd be this far off to be honest at this track. I thought being a windy track would make it all, you know, the um, straight line speed would make a bit back through the windy sections. But um, didn't seem to be the case. We had really uh, pretty strong race pace, um, a lot stronger than our qualifying pace. So we'll have to look at why that is. Um, get more of a gain out of the green tyre but you know up to this point qualifying has been our strong point um, but uh, yeah so we'll go back and look at the books look at the data and uh, try and work out what's going on and why we were off the pace and um, yeah looking forward to Darwin hopefully uh, we, we think we I think we've got a, a test day before then so uh, we might get a, on top of a few things there. Just your impressions of the whole week here in the US the future of this event? Uh, I thought this was an amazing thing for the sport. V8 Supercars should be really proud and um, I think the uh, Austin people loved it. Um, people came from all over uh, all over America and a lot of fans from Australia and um, really surprised. I think we had over 60,000 over the weekend so that's a pretty impressive crowd considering we've never ever been here before but there's a huge following um, you know on telly over here which I didn't realise and um, you know they know us all, our names and everything so it's, it's, that's cool. Um, you know, we'll definitely be coming back next year, I think, um, you know, judged on our popularity. But this week's been pretty, you know, fun week. Um, I love America and uh, Austin in particular is a really great city, um, nice and clean, and uh, we had some fun here. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to coming back.